Having a big family means you need a vehicle with cavernous passenger space, but we know how bills can pile up, so we put together a list of the 10 most affordable three-row SUVs. Number 10, the Subaru Ascent. The Ascent is Subaru's biggest model yet, but despite the size, it still does an impressive job of feeling like a Subaru. That means a compliant suspension that's great for keeping drinks unspilled on all but the roughest roads. It also means a flat four engine that sounds a bit like a small aircraft. It has a 2.4 liter turbo that puts out 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. All wheel drive is standard as well as a CVT automatic. Number nine, the Hyundai Palisade. Hyundai went truly vast with its latest Palisade crossover, a model that's much bigger than the company's previous three row offerings. It offers an interior that's more luxury car than you'd expect from Hyundai, but it also comes with plenty of space for all your occupants and cargo. The Palisade offers room in all three rows and optional ventilated seats for second row passengers if you're willing to up the budget. The 3.8 liter V6 offers 291 horsepower and comes with an eight speed automatic gearbox. Number eight, the Nissan Pathfinder. While the original Pathfinders were old style SUVs, the model found a new trail to follow and became a large three-row crossover. That's the path buyers have taken too, so a hat tip to Nissan for the change. The Pathfinder uses a 3.5 liter V6 that makes 284 horsepower and a CVT to maximize fuel economy. The third row is on the smaller side though, which may limit the number of people you can fit back there. The second row slides fore and aft to trade off middle and rear space depending on your needs for that particular day. The passenger side second seat will also fold forward with a child seat in place, a feature that few on this list have. Number seven, the Honda Pilot. The latest Honda Pilot is a roomy place for seven people to sit. Anyone over six feet though is going to have a tough time in the back row. The Pilot comes standard with a 3.5 liter V6 and six speed auto that delivers 280 horsepower but more importantly, delivers that signature Honda VTEC screen at a little over 5,000 RPM for those drivers who have the family long but still want to have a bit of fun behind the wheel. Honda Sensing comes standard, offering collision mitigation braking, road departure mitigation, and collision and lane departure warnings. Number six, the Volkswagen Atlas. This affordable three-row crossover is the first showing on this list from Volkswagen. The made in Tennessee, made for America Atlas comes with a load more space than the Tiguan, but a price that's not far off. The Atlas also offers up space for tall adults in the third row. The base engine is a two liter turbo four that makes 235 horsepower on premium unleaded, or there's a V6 that pushes power to 276 horsepower. Both ways you get an eight speed automatic and the option of four motion all wheel drive. Number five, the Chevrolet Traverse or GMC Acadia. The Acadia and Traverse share many components, but do have two big differences. The Acadia offers more luxury trims on the top end and the Traverse is bigger. In fact, when it comes to dollars per cubic foot, the Traverse is near the top of the heap in any segment. It offers room for grown adults even in the third row and seating for eight with the Acadia offering just slightly less. A powerful 3.6 liter V6 and a nine speed automatic makes these haulers brisk and the Acadia can be had with a two liter turbo four for buyers who need a bit less power, more torque and some fuel savings. Number four, the Kia Sorento. Kia has just announced a new version of the Sorento crossover set to show up later in the year, but for now, your option is still the old model. Hey, maybe that'll help you snag a better deal on what is an excellent three row crossover. The Sorento is a bit blandly styled inside and out, but offers a 185 horsepower 2.4 liter four or a 290 horsepower 3.3 liter V6. The Sorento gets Yes Essentials fabric on base models, a fabric that is earth friendly, but more importantly, highly resistant to stains, liquids, dirt, and even static. And the one touch slide and fold middle row makes rear access a snap. Number three, the Volkswagen Tiguan. If you're thinking that starting price seems a touch high for the Tiguan, that's because Volkswagen doesn't offer the base model with all those seats. You'll need at least the all-wheel drive version of the S model plus $595 to get a three-row Tiguan. Why the choice? Well, some buyers need the extra cargo space, lower cost, or less weight. The VW offers blind spot monitoring and a 184 horsepower two liter turbo, as well as the brand's trademark ride and handling balance and interior fit and finish. Number two, the Mitsubishi Outlander. The Outlander is another three-row bargain, 
At that price, you might not get the nicest interior around, but you do get the standard third row and a 10-year powertrain warranty that should set aside some long-term ownership stresses. Front drive is standard with a 2.4-liter 166-horsepower four-cylinder and a CVT with all-wheel drive optional. While it comes with a 7-inch infotainment system, you'll need to spend a few dollars more for the SE trim to get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and active safety features like collision mitigation, lane departure warnings, and blind spot assist. Number 1. The Dodge Journey The Journey is bar none the most affordable way to get three rows in a new crossover in 2020. Unless you're in California and one of the smattering of other states where you'll need to look for a leftover 2019 model. Dodge simplified the Journey lineup for 2020, so there's only one drivetrain option, a 173 horsepower 2.4 liter 4 cylinder, a 4 speed automatic and front wheel drive. But the important bit is those 7 seats, and while the Journey isn't massive, it isn't the smallest in this group by a long shot. There's enough space for a comfortable Journey for passengers of almost any size and up to 67.6 .6 cubic feet of cargo space. There you go. If you've got a big family and you don't want to be seen in a minivan, this list should help you find a vehicle to haul you and the kiddos around without breaking the bank. We hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, please like and subscribe.